There's the gap from first to second. It is nearly a second and a half for Ron Fellows. I don't want to jinx him either, but I think you've already heard the winner interview, ladies and gentlemen. The white flag indicating one to go. Fellows hard on the brakes for the last time down into turn one. The position fights behind him pretty much non-existent. They're single filing it into the final lap as McLaughlin has that second spot backing up last year's victory and wrapping up a very enjoyable week for him. He said flying that F-16 was really fun. Yeah, what you're doing. Seven Gs and didn't throw up. Pretty good. He's flying around this course here today also, but my hat's off to that Ashton Lewis. We've, we've talked about him all day long. Uh, engineer from the 24 car, got the opportunity to, to get in a Roush car for uh, one of Jeff Burton's car. And man, he's doing a great job running third right now. The yellow number nine, here's the guy who's been the class of the field since Boris said the pole sitter spun on the first lap. Ron Fellows, a victor here a year ago in truck competition to the delight of the Canadians who come down across the border to watch the racing at Watkins Glen, comes back here a year and three weeks later and says, I'll do it again in a bush car. Joe Nemechek gave him the call and the opportunity, and here comes Ron Fellows to win it at Watkins Glen, New York. Checkered flag is up, and it's history. The Bush Series has its first ever Canadian winner. He's pretty excited. He, uh, he, he was pretty calm when we talked to him earlier, but he's pretty excited now. Winter net is coming down. Celebration begins for Rod Fellows, the winner of the Lights All 250. McLaughlin comes home second. Cruised. Before we go green, Dave, quickly. Well, Brian Paddy came down to talk to Todd Barrier, crew chief for Kevin Harvick, to try to work a little something out. Todd was kind of mum about it, so they didn't really get anything settled. Well, Harvick's in the third spot. He's got to handle Butch Leitzinger first. Here we go, coming down towards the green and the white. One lap remaining here at the Lysol 200. And I'll tell you, Leitzinger hung back a little bit, so did Harvick, and they hung back too much. Defensive line through turn one, you're right. They gave up too much ground going down into turn number one. Fellows. There's Todd Bodine in fourth. I think they gave him too much room. Oh, absolutely. Coming down the back straightaway. This would be your most opportune moment to make a pass, but they're not anywhere near close enough. Man, look at Fellows turn that thing in with such authority. Yeah, he, he's very aggressive right now. We're seeing the max out of the Bully Hill Vineyard Chevrolet through the outer loop for the final time. Ron Fellows is going to do it again. International Speedway Corporation owns this facility. They ought to sell it to Ron Fellows because he owns the racetrack, that's for sure. Watkins Glen belongs to Ron Fellows through turn 11 for the final time. A third yesterday in the truck race and first today in the Lysol 200. A great run for Butch Leitzinger, even greater for Kevin Harvick. Listen to the crew. <laughs> Are they happy? <laughs> oh man, what a great job these guys did. Crew, crew all weekend. I mean, even in the truck race, you guys are the best. Let's go to Dave with Brian Patty. Around there, right is standing here. Ron Fellows out of Toronto, Ontario, has his family here today. Just look at Ron's hands and look how go. smooth One he is go. in the corner. He's not jerking the wheel. He doesn't do a lot of left right with the steering wheel. He's just very, very smooth, and that's a very good sign that his car is driving real well. That's Ron's wife, Linda, there on the left, daughter, Lindsay. They don't look nervous either, do they? Uh -uh. I think they've been through this before a couple times. Calm and cool. So they've got to be excited about the job Ron Fellows has done today, and that whole team, Ryan Patty, the crew chief at Chevrolet, has been stout. White flag is flying for Ron Fellows. One more time around this 2.45 mile road course. Can he make it two in a row? Three out of the last four. His family will watch him come home. Wife on Linda on the left, daughter Lindsay there on the right. And 
he does look smooth. He can shut it off right now and coast to the line and not get beat. He's, he's just run a great race all day, and that just shows his experience as a road racer. Hitting his marks, taking the checkered flag, and winning the GNC Live Well 200. Fast right now, but uh, we're having fun. I mean, you know, it's not good to see guys wrecking under yellow, but man, if it'll it'll just kind of quit pouring a little bit, uh, it's really pretty fun to do. Um, I'd give anything for a pair. Of... Oh, it's over. They just said it's over. All right, so it was a great race, a lot of fun, and uh, see y'all next week. <laughs> Boy, that's the way to break the news, huh, fellas? Well, take a look as uh, the five car has been told. In fact, they got the word before we got the word. So uh, congratulations are going to go to Ron Fellows and the number five team as uh, he picks up his fourth career Nationwide Series win, the other three at Watkins Glen. We'll talk to him right here at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve when we return in a very soggy but a very happy day for Ron 